Hello and welcome back to the bustling port town of Yapston. Um, we're down here at the Docklands uh, for the start of episode one of this as yet unnamed series. Um, I'm sure I'll get there eventually. Um, in fact, by the time you watch this video, it may even have the series title in the video um, name itself. Uh, at the time of recording, I, I just, I, I don't know, I've just sort of jumped right in. Um, anyway, so I'm going to switch straight back to first person mode following the incidents of the um, intro. Uh, yeah, yeah, we'll just stick with first person. Um, so we're going to go to the Jobinator 3000, um, which was introduced in the last episode, so if you haven't seen it, please do go um, go check it out, and that will explain what's actually going on here. Um, and it will also explain a little bit about where we are. So, let's get a job. So, episode one. Here we go. Job is farming. Okay, build a self-flushing wheat, beet, carrot, and potato farm. If not constructing all four, adjust this job to request remaining ones and place back in circulation. Okay, so we've got to do wheats, beets, carrots, and potatoes. Um, right. I reckon we can do that. Yeah. Let's build a farm. Right. So I think I've picked, lo located this as, I think, probably the best area to build them. Because if we're going to have four farms, as I say, we don't need them to be particularly large. So I'm only probably only going to make each one sort of four blocks wide, maybe seven blocks long. Um, so we're going to need, what, four, eight, uh, 16, 16 blocks wide with blocks in between. So 20. We're going to need probably about 25 blocks uh, in width. Um, or I might just do them opposite each other, in which case we're going to need, what, 14, 18, 20? Yeah, we're going to need to flatten out a bit either way. So to start with, I'm just going to, uh, we can sort of repair holes and things like that that we make as we go along. Um, we, we can repair those a bit later. Um, for now, however, I'm just going to carve a bit out. So. We do need to build a rail station down here at some point as well, so that's why I'm, I'm leaving sort of that bit there up on the hill. Um, I think that'll make a good location for that rail station when we get to when we get to that stage. So I'm going to leave that there for now and just sort of make use of this area. Um, we will landscape the area around it afterwards once we know what we've dug out. Um, let's quickly fill in some of these little holes. Okay, so I think the best thing to do. It's probably going to be just to start sort of laying out a couple of the farms. I mean, do we want it sort of in line with that? No, we don't care about whether it's in line, do we? Right. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to do them here. Um, I might actually back them onto this building and have them so we've got sort of two there and two over that side. Um, I think that could work quite well. So I've put a few bits together in these boxes. Um, Obviously, I've just hacked apart almost out of three stacks of grass, so didn't really need to bring that with us. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to outline sort of where the first couple of farms are going to go. So if we stick one there, uh, so that's going to be the barrier. And then we want it to be four blocks wide. Um, we're going to need space for the droppers and things like that behind there, so... Um, Let's think we're gonna have the droppers and we're gonna have the redstone on top. So I'm actually gonna make a gap behind them, just leave a sort of two gap space just to make sure that we've got enough room um, for what's going on there. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, and then we're gonna have the water channel, and then that'll be the front, and then that's the four. Dropper, right? Okay. So I think that shape's going to work. Um, and then what we're going to do, of course, is we'll grab some grass just so we can hoe it a bit quicker. Uh, okay, so we're going to have four in there, four in there. So I think, I mean, this is going to be plenty big enough. You know, we don't need anything um, too large. Um, I mean, I suppose the other question is, do we even? Do we even need it raised? Do we want it raised? Shall we have it raised? No, no, I don't think we will. You know what? I'm gonna lower it. 
Although if it's raised, the water, the chest will be a bit easier. Oh, right, we'll have it raised. Look at me, being indecisive. Classic. Right. Okay, so that's going to be that. So what we're going to need is uh, another one of those sort of next to it. But we need to bear in mind the water channel needs to go here. So to keep the crops... Well, actually, wait a second. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We could put the water, in fact, under here, couldn't we? So we'll block up this bit for now. So yeah, we could put the water there underneath the droppers. Because then that's going to irrigate this bit of land. And it's going to irrigate that bit of land. Yeah, that's good. I think I think that's, that's going to work. Um, cool, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to chuck in those buckets of water now. Chuck one in there, and one in there. Uh, in fact, that one I'm going to take out just for now, because we need to put in the collection system for this. Um, so I, I do actually want to keep them separate. Um, so I think the best bet's going to be to put in a dropper there, going into a chest that sticks out here. I don't think we're going to need more than one chest. As I say, we're not doing this as a sort of huge efficient you know mass production farm we don't really need it we've got our micro farm and we've got plenty of bone meal uh, if we need to duplicate resources so there's really no need to go overboard for us with this um okay let's get in a hopper um we'll put in uh, probably glass across the front there um we'll put in glass we're essentially we're going to encase the thing in glass anyway just so we have minimal loss on it um so i'm going to quickly do that now as well oh no we don't want to do that so yeah we're going to grab some glass as well and there we go so we'll put some of that in and we're going to want to put glass on the front here we're going to put, want to put glass in between the two farms so we'll do that now as well Thinking about it, I don't know if I've even bought enough buckets with me. Oh, I've got plenty in here. Cool. Uh, right, so we're actually going to grab some dispensers from in here as well. And we're going to put the dispensers here like this. It's going to be a very straightforward system, which I'm sure you're all going to be familiar with. Um, I'm one of those guys that likes to hide the redstone where possible, so we're going to do that as well. So I'm going to dig out two channels here just to make it a bit easier. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to have one lever for the two farms on this side and one lever for the two farms on that side. Because as I say, once again, I'm not going to be here that often. Um, it's, I'm not doing this for the production capacity or anything like that. So um, I don't mind if there's a bit of loss because some of them haven't quite grown up. You know, that's not really something I'm going to be concerned about. Um... So we'll put that in there, we'll put one in there. Um, no, we don't even need that, do we? Yeah, um, you'll, you'll, you'll soon realise I'm not that good with redstone. Um, I, can, I can find my way about and I'll get there in the end, and nine times out of ten there's going to be a better way of doing something um, after I've done it, so please don't <laughs> rely on uh, what I'm doing as a, yep, this is the best way to do it, because I can almost guarantee it won't be. Um, in most cases. People five. Let's bring that up a bit. I've gone down I've gone down way too low there, haven't I? Why have I gone down that low? Just gonna bring that up a level because there's really no need for me to go quite that low down. And once we've got this first one built, what I'll do is um, I'll go ahead and build the others. Um, probably just time lapse it to keep it simple um okay so we want to get up there without destroying all the thing <sighs> i mean to be honest i'm not surprised that's that's the kind of thing i do put something down and instantly forget that that's what i've done um okay so we're just going to make sure that all these definitely charge charge up you know what I'm saying. So we're going to put that there, and then that's going to go up to the other dispenser over that side anyway. So I think the best thing to do is actually just going to be to remove... Uh, in fact, I can do that, can't I? That's a thing. 
that's a thing that happens. So I'm going to put this there just to make sure that we've definitely got enough going through. Do, 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 do. Okie dokie. And in theory, that should work and should power um, all the things. One, two, three, four. So the other one's going to go here. Uh, I think I've gone out one too many there, haven't I? Let's get my axe back. So yeah, I'm also not very good at keeping my hotbar organised. Um, and I'm about to starve to death. So let's resolve that as well while we're here. Okie dokie. Right. So I think we're pretty much there. I mean, I'm going to grab a few buckets of water, put them in the dispensers. And then we'll put a lever on. We'll test the system. I say a lever. I'm probably best off using a butter. A uh, butter. <laughs> uh, a button. Better off using a button. Um, and the sun's about to start going down again as well. So that could be a good time to go grab a nap. And then come back tomorrow and finish off the last bit of the build. Um, we should just about have time to test this though. Um, oh, and we also need to put the bucket of water back in here. Itching. And what we're going to do is we're just going to chuck an item over there so that when we test it, we can make sure that everything is hunky-dory. Right, so. Cool. And then press it again. Washes the bucket into there. Look at that. Woo! So that is literally all we're going to be doing. Um... I'll probably have to raise this up another level, uh, just to make sure we don't lose quite as much, um, well, many crops, basically. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and have a kip, uh, I'm going to come back here, and uh, then we'll build the rest of the farms, probably in uh, the form of a time-lapse, because, well, you know, nobody wants to sit there watching me build farms over and over again for the next 15 minutes, do they? So, uh, yeah, see you in a moment. Welcome back to the farms. I uh, hope you enjoyed the time lapse there. Um, it really didn't take that long in the end. I had to disappear a couple of times because I had forgotten things. Um, speaking of which, I've forgotten beetroot seeds. Um, I brought beetroot with me for the sign, but forgot to actually bring the seeds. Um, so I'm just going to fly off and grab some of those. Um, and then, yeah, we'll wait for the stuff to grow up a bit and we'll test the farms and... I can't see there being any uh, 
problems though. I mean, they're fairly sort of straightforward. Um, we did test it a bit. I don't know which ones are which. They're cocoa beans, that's pumpkins, that's seeds. Is it these ones? That's melon. That's cocoa beans again. And beetroot seeds, there we go. Okay, I've got 15. That's um, not loads, but it should be enough to at least get us started. So we'll just get back up here. Ow! My face! Yeah, I keep forgetting that they added uh, sort of velocity damage now on um, on bed rockets. Um, it never used to do that, so I used to just fly around quite happy with everything that was going on. Um, so yeah, I'll uh, give you a quick tour of the oh-so-few features. Um, there's fields, there's droppers that dispense water and wash everything into this bit with the hoppers, which you saw earlier. Um, that one button controls both these fields, that button controls both of those. Um, looks like I'll have some wheat shortly, so I'll actually be able to add that sign there. Um, and yeah, I've just added some access stairs on the side so you can actually get up to replant as well. Um, I was fed up with going over there for water, so I did create myself a, a small water source there briefly. Um, so yeah, this is uh, basically it. We've got our farms up. Um, they're going to be working. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly just clear up these bits here, uh, make a little bit of a path joining up to the main path there. Um, and yeah, we'll uh, we'll come back once the stuff's grown and we'll we'll push the button and see what happens. It's been a long, hard journey. But finally, I think we're ready to harvest. Um, I actually ended up bone mealing a few <laughs> just to uh, just to get the last few ready. Um, but yeah, so in in the meantime, while it was growing, I've actually done a bit of landscaping. I've sort of raised the ground on either side. You see, the last few bits are still growing over. Uh, just sort of put in a, a quick path, um, which I'll improve over time, but uh, it'll do for now. Um, just to lead you here, and then the sort of the collection areas and the actual sort of the farm working areas, uh, I've just made a bit lower. Um, so what we're going to do is um, all these chests are empty. Uh, we're going to push the buttons, see what we get, um, and let's make sure the system. Oh, look, <laughs> that's cool. Makes the trapdoors flip up, but that's fine. We can deal with that. Okay, and then push the button again, and that should all drain away. Awesome, and we'll just wait a moment while that all collects. And we'll do the same on this side. Oh, look at that go. Okay, so a couple of potatoes have got stuck there. That's, you know, to be expected. Missing a couple. Oh, I saw some poisonous potatoes there. You don't want those. Okay, so we should see everything start rolling in. Look at that. Over a stack of carrots from that one. And yeah. Yeah. I mean, who cares about beetroot? It wasn't a full field anyway. <laughs> uh, potatoes are still coming in. And plenty of wheat as well. One of which I'm going to use to stick up there. Cool. Well, the system works. So, with that in mind, um, I'm fully aware I need to replant that, don't you worry. Um, so with that in mind, what we can do is we can come back here to the... Uh, how's it already got a name? I mean, is it is it a job centre? <laughs> yeah, we can do with a name for this place. Any ideas, let me know in the comments. Uh, but uh, yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to complete this first episode quest. I keep opening that door. Okay, cool. So that is now completed uh, on the 9th, the 11th, no, 10th, the 11th, 2019 by Mr. Beardstone, as I will now be using that name. Awesome, and I'm going to sign that. So, book title here. Uh, so, what should we call it? Four Fields. Oh, no, that's a dollar sign. We'll call it Four Fields, so we know it's the farming. And the author was Mr. Beardstone. Fantastic, sign and close. And we are going to put that in completed contracts. Uh, lastly, we're just going to sign this book as well. So we're going to grab this. We're going to have a new page over here. Um, okay, so it's the 10th of November 2019 by Mr. Beardstone. Awesome. And we'll add that to there. Cool. Right, so I guess. 
as the sun sets on another day, we shall say goodbye. So, um, yeah, we did a thing, completed a quest, there's plenty more to go. Um, and yeah, so what we can do there is we can actually create another new quest to sort of prettify that area a bit, but we'll probably wait to put that one in until we've got a few more things down there. Uh, so we know a bit more about what we're working with. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please, please do like and subscribe. Um, and yeah, I will be back soon with episode two, um, where we'll grab another one of these wonderful quests and, um, well, we'll see what happens. Take care now. Bye-bye.